Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Today I am coming to you in very foggy, gloomy weather, which probably isn't the best for filming, but I have to say it is putting me in the best mood in the world because it has been nothing but hot, hot, hot over here. So it feels so nice to see a little bit of gloominess and some fall-ish weather going on outside. But today I am here to share a huge Bath and Body Works holiday sale haul. Yes, Santa decided to show up early this year at Bath and Body Works, which I'm so happy about and I was so ready for. And they did have a sale over the weekend. It was two for one, three wick candles. And then I also had a 20% off your entire purchase coupon that I received in the mail. So you guys know I had to slap that on top of this purchase and save some extra money. And I did pick up quite a few things, but I thought it would be kind of fun to share my favorite things that I picked up towards the end of the video. So definitely stick around for that. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I do have to warn you, I have two and a half crates of candles to share with you, plus some extra stuff at the end. So grab a snack, grab a drink, a coffee, whatever you're fancy, because there's a lot that we're gonna talk about. Okay, so the first candle I picked up was Champagne Toast. It looks like this. This is actually my first Champagne Toast candle. It's really a scent that I never paid all that much attention to, but of course the Christmas packaging just got me this year and I went ahead and bought it and I really do like the scent. It is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. I think typically it's the tangerine and sugariness of this that has always maybe never fall in love with the scent, but again, they came out with this super girly pink wonderland type packaging and I just kind of fell in love. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Nutcracker. I especially love this font that they went with for this collection of candles. It just reminds me of like traditional Christmas type of font, doesn't it? Like it looks like the opening of a Christmas movie, this font. So yeah, I really do like this one and I'm excited to burn it. The next one I picked up is Winter. And I mostly got this candle because of the packaging because I actually still have a Winter from last year that I never even finished. So I was kind of thinking in my mind, I'm not even gonna pick up Winter this season because I already have an old one to get through but the packaging really got me on this one. It totally matches my decor since I'm going with mo mostly neutrals and black, little pops of red and green, but mostly like neutral colors and black. So um, it just fits my theme very well. And I do like the scent. It's just really overpowering. If any of you have smelled winter, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine and spiced clove. I really just get a lot of pine in this. There is a nice woodsy element to it too. So it's not just like straight up pine, which I feel it can be a little bit on the aggressive side. The next one I picked up was Frozen Lake. Oh my goodness, this candle. The wax for this one is this really pretty kind of deep midnight navy kind of color. It looks very mysterious and dark. And this scent, I just... I'm head over heels over this scent. It's one of those scents that I smell that I just fall into. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how there are those candles where you smell it and you're like, oh wow, that smells good. And then there are those candles that you smell where you're just like, oh my gosh. Like you just get washed over by the scent and it just gives you such a good feeling. This is that candle for me. And the notes are lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, and juniper breeze. And I am such a lavender person, but surprisingly, I don't get too strong of a lavender from this. I get the eucalyptus, but it just has such like an icy cooling scent. It is very unique. And I love that it's a very fresh smelling candle, but it also has a lot of depth and complexity to it. It's just a very unique, interesting scent, but it totally smells like a winter scent to me. And it actually does smell like a frozen lake. So I don't know how they accomplished that in this candle, but it really does smell like the way it sounds. The next one I got is white tea and sage. And it looks like this. It comes in this really pretty creamy mint packaging and then you have the little sprigs. And I love that they went with like a pastel mint green for the packaging. It's just totally different than what you would typically expect from a holiday candle, which is one of the things I love the most about this. And the notes on this are sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. And I am a bergamot and sage person through and through. So it's no surprise that I did really like this scent. 
And the scent that I get from this is it just reminds me of like when you're going somewhere and you find like a really fancy boutique, like a little hidden boutique somewhere and they have like really nice clothes and books and little like decor items. And they have always like some beautiful candle burning in the background. To me, this is that candle. It just has that high-end boutique kind of scent to me. So yeah, I really do like that one. The next one I have is Snowflakes and citrus. I do love when they have a colored wax and this one is really pretty. It's kind of like a lagoonish teal type of color. And this smells really good. The notes on this are juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. Now, if you read me those notes, I would probably just pass on the candle if I just heard the notes alone, but smelling it, I do love the feeling I get when I smell this. It just makes me feel really, really happy. I'm not much of a citrus person myself, but I do think it's the fresh spring water in here that kind of takes away from the acidity of the citrus. It makes it a little bit more delicate and light. So it has a hint of that citrus going on, but I do get more of the fresh spring water in here. And I really do like this scent. Very nice, um, fresh, clean scent if you're into those types of scents like myself. The next one I picked up is Pink Fairy Gumdrop and it looks like this. I have to say out of all of the ones that came out in this kind of luminary type of packaging, this one is probably my favorite, but I really got this mainly for my daughter. So I don't have any intention of burning it this year, but maybe in future Christmases because I love the packaging so much. And I don't know, something about Pink Fairy Gumdrop and little girls just goes hand in hand to me. The notes on this are sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton candy, and a sprinkle of fairy dust. The next one I picked up is Christmas Cider, which I already know for sure I wanna get another one of these. And the notes on this are mulled cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, and simmering cider. Initially, when I saw Christmas Cider, I thought it was gonna have a really strong cider scent to it but I don't really get much cider at all. Like I would only smell cider if I'm thinking, like if my brain is searching for cider as I'm smelling it, just smelling it straight on. It just smells like cinnamon and nutmeg to me. And I really do like the scent of this. It is a softer scented candle. So I'm curious to see how well it's gonna burn or how well the throw is gonna be. The next one I got is Salted Caramel Eggnog. I was hoping so much for an eggnog candle this year because I've never purchased eggnog candles in the past for some reason. I do like that for the little snowflakes, they went with like this really pretty kind of gift wrap looking um, paper. And I do like the lids for these ones as well. They have these little like snowflakes going on. And to me, when I smell this, the first thing I think of is Disneyland. To me, this smells exactly like Disneyland. Like when you first get in through the gates and you're walking on Main Street and you just get hit with that scent of like caramel apple and a little bit of popcorn and churros and cinnamon sugar. This is exactly what Disneyland <laughs> smells like to me when you first enter the park. So of course I am absolutely obsessed with it. And yeah, to me, it just smells honestly like caramel pretzel. I get a little bit of eggnog in there, but it just smells like caramel pretzel to me. And the notes on here are gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, dulce de leche, and sweet whipped cream. I do like this one a lot more than caramel drizzle, mainly because I'm not much of a caramel candle kind of person, but I do love it in this. Um, again, because it just smells like Disneyland to me. Caramel drizzle, not so much. I couldn't get into that scent, but uh, I love this. This is no longer the salted caramel eggnog to me. This is officially deemed the Disneyland candle. You are now the Disneyland candle. The next one I picked up was spiced gingerbread. And I do love the packaging that White Barn did this year for this candle. I just love how minimal and simple it is. And the notes on this are vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg. It does come in this really pretty ivory colored wax. And I do really like spiced gingerbread. It's slightly on the sweeter side. It's more of like a cakey gingerbread scent with really heavy frosting. That's what I get from this. So I wish it had more of that spice in there. And another thing I'm not crazy about with spiced gingerbread is that I feel like the throw on this tends to be very weak, at least for me. And because I love gingerbread so much during the holiday season, I want my house to smell like a damn gingerbread factory, okay? Like that is the level of gingerbread I need in my life. And this really doesn't give it to me. So I'm usually burning like multiple of them around the house. Okay, so speaking of gingerbread, the next one that I got is 
gingerbread marshmallow. Now with the spiced gingerbread, how I mentioned, I wish it had more of that spice to it. This gives me the spice that I wanted from spiced gingerbread. It definitely has more of a heavy spice scent to it. It is gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, and vanilla frosting. So you see the gingerbread is the first note in this, where in spiced gingerbread, it's like more towards the back of the line. This is first, front and center. And you really do get a true gingerbread spicy scent from this. Like it smells like that first bite of a gingerbread cookie. And of course I had to get a sister for her because they just smell that good. The next one I picked up is The Perfect Christmas. And yes, I had to get two of these ones as well. You can see there's Santa and his reindeer flying all over the world to give all the little good children their gifts. And then another cute detail is that there is Santa's belt buckle up here at the lid, which I thought was such a cute touch. I love when packaging has a little bit of storytelling going on. And to me, this totally hits the mark. I will say though, that when I saw pictures of this candle online, to me, the packaging looked a little bit more exciting and magical than it does in person. I was a little bit underwhelmed when I saw it in person. I was like, oh, it's cute, but it's a little bit plain. I kind of wish that they added more like sparkle and glimmer to this, but um, nonetheless, it is really cute. The notes on this are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. This smells just like Christmas morning when you're sitting next to the tree and you're having eggnog, you're watching holiday movies, you're opening gifts. Like, yes, that is the experience I get from this candle. And what I like about this is that although it does have that pine in there, which can be a little bit of a, an abrasive scent for me, it smells not too heavy. It kind of smells like you're in the same room as the Christmas tree, but you're not like all up in the Christmas tree. You know what I mean? Like that's what I don't like about the scent evergreen or even tree farm a little bit is I feel like it smells like you're literally all up in the tree where this smells like you're near the tree. You know what I mean? So yeah, the pine scent in there is very um, present, but it's not too heavy to me. I think the cinnamon sugarness going on in here kind of balances it out and yeah, it just smells like Christmas morning and that's totally when I intend to burn this guy. Okay, the final scent that I'm gonna share with you guys is my surprise favorite. Would have never expected in a million years that this would have been my favorite scent for this season and it is crushed candy cane. Yes, this scent is just everything to me. This smells like fresh crushed candy cane, okay? Not two day old candy cane, not 50% off after Christmas clearance candy cane. I'm talking fresh candy cane. When I smell this, it makes me feel like a child. I get so excited. And the notes in this are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystal, and frosted mint leaf. I was very surprised by how much I love the scent of this candle, but even more than the scent, I love the packaging. Okay, let's get real here. The packaging is so cute. I love that it kind of has a little bit of like a vintage look to it. it. Just looks like a vintage holiday candle for me, which I totally love like vintage look around the holiday season. So it was right up my alley and you know, I got a second one. Okay guys, so that is it for all of the candles. Really quickly, I just wanna run through some candle accessories that I got. This being the first one, it is this really pretty snowflake candle holder. And then if you can see for some of the little snowflakes, they have a little rhinestone in there. So it has a little bit of bling going on, but it's mostly just glitter. And I just love how pretty and delicate it is. I also picked up some wallflower plugins. The first one being this cute little reindeer. And I think when you plug it in, his little nose lights up like Rudolph. I also got this little red truck one that's carrying a little Christmas tree. I thought this would be really cute for the kitchen. The final wallflower plug-in I got was this guy. And it is so freaking cute. It is Santa's workshop and here is what it looks like. And when you do plug it in, the, a little light goes on behind um, Santa's workshop so you can actually see inside the shop. So it looks like they're you know up all night working away on all the Christmas toys. And another cool feature about this that honestly I could kind of do without is that there is a little projector in the back where it projects Merry Christmas on the wall. To be honest, I'm not really crazy about that part. I feel like it's a little bit much, but 
I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like cover it up or anything. I'll probably just leave it as is, but I just thought it was so cute. I love traditional Christmas decorations like this, like Santa's village type of decor I think is so adorable. So I could not skip out on this. And this was actually the last one in my store. Okay guys. And now for the grand finale, this is my favorite thing that I picked up and it's this beautiful snow globe looking pedestal. It does have a little snowflake in the middle. I was on the hunt for this um, everywhere and I could not find it everywhere. I called, no one had it. So I decided to just show up in person anyways. And the girl was literally putting it out onto the display and I took it right out of her hands. I was like, thank you very much. Put it straight into my bag. Like I'm not even giving you the chance to put this out on the floor. It is going home with me immediately. And I'm so excited that I picked it up. Now, not only is it gorgeous, it lights up, it spins and it even plays music, okay? It pretty much does everything other than like shoot out fireworks for me or make like holiday cookies. It is just amazing. So let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on. So this is just the mode where it lights up and you can see the little snowflakes spinning in there. And then when we switch it to the opposite side. Ooh. Yes, it plays jingle bells, okay? So freaking cute. I love that they have the option of turning the music off because I could not stand listening to jingle bells all day long, but I definitely do wanna have it on all holiday season. It's so magical and wonderful. So excited that I picked this up. Okay guys, so that is it for this giant Bath & Body Works holiday sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am planning on filming some Target holiday hauls coming up here soon. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been doing a lot of walkthroughs through Target, especially their holiday section. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go follow me. I will link it down below because I do love to share everything that I'm seeing with you guys. That way you can see it hopefully before anyone else. And yeah, that is it. I would love to know if you guys picked up any any holiday things, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your recommendations. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.